and welcome to the second part of our sim series or here at Unicorn Trash Gremlins. Today we're building a house with Star Forbes who we created last time. The first part of this series that so I have no idea why I decided to start with the office area. But there we go. I just for some reason decided I wanted it in this corner. I guess because of those big huge windows I suppose if I lived in this flat in real life that's exactly where I would put the desk. We've moved her into the city. Uh, we've moved across the hall from some supposedly rather lively neighbours, so that'll be interesting to see how that goes. Here I'm just picking the floor. I do end up changing the floor soon. Time to do the kitchen. Come in to find some lights. There's always a standard light I use, and that's this one here. This is just saucer light. I find it doesn't get in the way of the game too much. I find if I, if I have one dangling down, it kind of gets in the way of it. Just putting in the oven now and the fridge and stuff. And now I do end up changing these a bit later on as I end up with some money left over at the end. I think I may as well get her some better kitchen equipment, save me getting myself into any unnecessary fires. You know, it's always riskier when you have the cheaper equipment. Putting in a sink and some dishwasher stuff, just the basics at the moment. Trying to get the whole thing trying to get the whole thing ready for her to move in. I mean, of course she's already moved in, really. I quite like this little kitchen. I love the bricks on the wall. Like, I absolutely love this when I'm doing a city build. Like, it's fantastic. Yeah, here we go, changing the floors I was doing. I think about it for quite a while here. I'm like, mm, do I? Do I like this? Do I like this? But in the end, I think, I just thought, go for it. Go for it, go for it. Ah, yeah, this is where I suddenly remember that I need a bin. Might be helpful. Trying to get as close to the fridge and the wall as possible because we are not working with very much space here. I think to myself, yeah, time for the bathroom. Putting that in quite a small bathroom, but not so small as it's not usable. Not the smallest of small, but again, not much space to work with. May as well make it. May as well make it big enough, but not too big. Just me trying to trying to decide on the bathroom scheme, and I think I just go leave it with the brick on the both sides, and then put it white, and then just fill in those bricks back again. I think that just looks nice. I do like this brick. I might go back on and change it later in the game, if need be. It's where. I start looking at other flooring for the bathroom, but again, in the end, I just decide I prefer it as it is. I like the wood against the brick, even for a bathroom. I think it looks quirky. I think it looks like a city apartment. Not that I would ever know. I've only ever lived in one city apartment, and that was student accommodation. And by God, it was awful. If my student, if my student accommodation had been like this, I would have paid a fortune for it. But let's face it, student accommodation is expensive. Popping in a wee mirror here. Oh yeah, I went for the green bathroom set in the end because, well, it looks cool. Oh, I looked at all these thought, oh yeah, it'd be good if I could have a combined bath and shower because then she could have a, sh a bath as well. And I think in the end, again, just go for a shower. Choose this black one, I think, yeah, green one. I go back to and place it, then decide I don't like the way it's facing, place it that way. And then, of course, I end up finding, well, aside I need some toilet roll, but then I think I find my favourite rug for bathrooms in the game. I go in, maybe look at some other stuff, yeah, towel rail. Oh, of course, we all need a towel rail. Oh, I think it's a nightmare, like, trying to place stuff on the walls, by the way, when you've got the walls down, because you can only put it on one placement. I think laundry hamper and I thought, you don't really need a laundry hamper to make the game work. Let's just go and get a rug. Nice black rug, I think it goes really well. It goes really well with the decoration of the bathroom. I think, hmm, what else do I need? What else do I need? Hmm, bed. Time for a bed and I think, hmm, let's put in a wall. I think, nah, let's not put in a wall. Let's make it a bit more like a bed set where you've got the kitchen, the living room, the office and the uh, bedroom all in the one room because you know city living 
living on her own, very small apartment, very right part of town, and then cycle through some of these swatches. I think I decided that one's my favourite, like the reddish one. Yeah, this one. I love this bed, by the way, and I know it comes with the City Living pack. And I just love it. I just love it. It's just nice, like, to not have all matching and stuff. It's so easy to end up with just a uniform type of apartment or house on The Sims, and I just like having something that's a bit more... A bit more different, a bit more me. I feel like this is exactly how I would decorate my flat if I had one, so... Alright, time to do a little sitting area now. Little TV. I end up going for a little sofa and a little chair because not much space. Choose the red to match the bed. I really feel in the colours in this episode, I think. I've got a little speaker down there because she is a music lover, if you guys remember from the last section of the series. Does love music, so I thought, mm, yeah, speaker's good. Decided to put a wee dining area in so she's not always having to eat in front of the telly. Some chairs, three chairs when she has friends over and some of them can sit in the living room, of course. Pop in another rug in. And I think at this point I start going crazy with the decorations after I've popped in some lights. I start going really crazy with decor. Because why not? Well, moving this over a bit apparently. Oh, I remember what I do next actually. I get a chest of drawers in. And a mirror, I think. Yeah. I figure, hmm, those are things we don't have. Those are things I like to have. It's good to have. There we go. That one. No, I don't like that one. Cycle through the colours of this a bit. I decide I love that one, which it does go with my decor really well. I don't know why I decide to sell that mirror, but I do end up putting it back in. Yeah, there I am, putting it back in, of course. Forever changing my mind, very fickle. What do I do now? Oh, a little clock. Oh, I'm struggling to remember what I do after all of this. Put a wee clock in there, get a nice wee plan, put it on my computer desk. Red, of course, to match the rest of the room. I think she's going to be a fan of red. I know I've got her wearing a lot of yellow in her outfit. Oh, but we did put another pop of green back in there. Yeah. yeah I was like, she, th at this point, I've just got a lot of money left over and I think, what can I do with the rest of it? I give her an upgrade on her computer. I look for musical instruments because, again, she's a music lover. I go and find a guitar and a violin, I think. Yeah, got a guitar there, but I do end up going for the campfire one and the red, of course. Then I just pop a violin in somewhere as well because she is a music lover. Oh, no. No camera going in first. God, I forgot half of these details that I've put in. Hey. Definitely looking for a violin now, I would think. Yeah. Well, I told just wedge it in there right next to the speaker. I thought about putting a microphone in, but then I was like, where? Where do I have room for it? She doesn't really need one, so she can just... She can just chill. No microphone. She can just use her voice. I'm sure if she can talk loud enough, I know I can. I was looking for some art to stick in here. Find this beautiful piece to stick behind the TV. I love it. End up swapping it for this one. Definitely put some others in somewhere. Oh, Snapchat. Who do I have a Snapchat from? Oh, it's from my buddy. Oh, well, here's me just putting some... There we go. Snapchat's just my mate back from his holiday. It's nice. Where can I put this in? Right here, I think. Yep. I honestly think I just keep going insane on decorations on here. As soon as I find out I've got money left, I'm like, oh, the decor, which is exactly what I'm like in my own life. I just waste so much of my own money on shit I don't need just because I have the money. 
definitely amplified my own soul into this uh, into this build. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, what else do I have? What else do I have? I thought these lights were a bit big in the end, but then I did find a really nice one, this wall one. I decided I can pop it here, like next to the dining table. Did think about putting another one in, but nah, didn't happen. Didn't happen. I think this is the point, yeah, I start swapping out the stuff in the kitchen for more expensive stuff. There we go. Make it a bit more fire safe, I guess. Maybe I should put a fire alarm in there, that would make it more fire safe. Better microwave. Yeah, there we go. Your kitchen even looks nicer now. Fantastic, I love it. Running out of money now. I think that's it. Yeah, anyway, I'll catch you next time for the uh, next instalment, or the first playing instalment of this series, actually. Make sure to maybe pop a like, I'll cry forever if you do. Pop a nice comment, constructive criticism is greatly appreciated. Oh,